Okay, a point of emphasis, traveling. Let's review some fundamentals. When starting a dribble, a player must release the ball before lifting the pivot foot. And a player who lifts the pivot foot before releasing the ball to begin a dribble has committed a traveling violation. It's always legal for a player to lift the pivot foot, but the player must pass, take a shot, or be granted a timeout before the pivot foot touches the floor again. And remember, impossible for a player to travel while dribbling, while bouncing the ball out of bounds during a throw-in, or prior to attempting free throws. Officiating fundamentals. Remember, to effectively officiate traveling, we want to find the pivot foot, which means that we must officiate from the floor up, make sure the player has control of the ball, and we want to penalize illegal action. Ugly is not illegal. Our LHSAA, LHSOA philosophy, we want clear and obvious traveling violations. Officials, slow down and process these types of plays. Find the pivot foot and ensure we have player possession. Identifying a player's pivot foot, key to ruling on potential traveling violations. So we have two-person mechanics here. And we're going to watch the player who receives the ball from the high post down low. So, legal or not legal. So this player will change pivot feet, and this should be ruled illegal, a traveling violation. So similar to the first play, we'll have an entry pass to the post. The offensive player will receive the ball and then make a move. So let's take a look at that again. Entry pass, dribble, makes a move, legal or illegal. This player's action is legal. The player's inside foot, his left foot is the pivot foot. No violation here. So in this play, we're gonna have a long pass to the corner the offensive player is going to do a little juggling act. Coach is going to be lobbying for a travel. Let's watch the play again. Legal or illegal? So because the offensive player does not possess the ball, he cannot travel, no player control, no traveling violation. So let's referee the offensive player who's going to receive the ball on a free throw line, pivot, and then drive to the basket. So, legal or illegal? So there's no problem with his pivot foot as he dribbles to the goal. He's going to lose possession of the ball. The defensive player touches the ball. The offensive player regains control, dribbles, and shoots. Legal play, no violation. Nice job by the crew demonstrating patience and holding their whistles. So our final traveling play here, we're going to take a look at the player who receives the ball on a free throw line extended bench side and then makes a move to the basket. Legal or illegal? So the player's left foot our right side is his pivot foot. It doesn't clearly an obvious lift and return to the floor before the dribble starts. Therefore, this is a legal play. Again, the foot does not clearly and obviously lift and return to the floor before the dribble starts, and this is a legal play.